congrats on your award. Um, it's the first time we're really speaking to you since Sunday's win over Rangers. Just how do you reflect on that match and, and where do you think it leaves Celtic in, in the title race? Yeah, it was uh, well, it was one more uh, one more big derby, uh, one more uh, old firm. Uh, it was a tough game for us with a lot of uh, duels and uh, a lot of passion. Uh, we gave everything. We didn't make our best game, of course. We knew we could uh, play better, but uh, uh, it was a game that uh, uh, I can say that uh, it was, as I said before, it was about the passion, about the duels, about the uh, fight, and uh, didn't let us play our game. But eventually we won the game. Uh, it was really important for us to win this game. And uh, now, from now on, we will lead the we lead the race uh, by six points. It's uh, it's not over yet, I can say, but uh, it's an advantage that we have to to protect till the end by winning every single game. Your um, your comments in, in a, a while back in February, you mentioned Celtic being the best team, and you think that they'd win the league. That caused a a bit of headlines at the time. It also angered some of the Rangers players. I just wonder whether Sunday's result vindicated those comments, whether you thought Sunday's performance backed up those comments that you feel Celtic are the best? I didn't make these comments in order to make anyone angry or uh, feel disrespected by me, but uh, I said that uh, what I was believing for my team. Uh, I believe that this time that we played uh, better uh, as a team, that's the only th uh, so the, uh, the only thing I said, but uh, I can say also now that we play very good football. I believe in my team, and of course, every every single player can say that his team is the best. I don't think this is bad, but uh, yeah, from now on, as I said, we have to win the games and uh, do our job. Thank you. Well done again. Thank you. Andrew. Hi, August. Um, obviously, Hello. you've been playing as the sort of number one striker at Celtic in the last few months. Kyogo is, is on his way back. Are you looking forward to that battle with him to, to be Celtic's number nine up front? Um, actually, I'm not uh, looking forward to about the battle. It's, uh, it's my teammate and we have to help the team, both of us, in order to score some goals and uh, win the games. Uh, the only thing I'm focused uh, is uh, about is uh, is the games we have to play uh, until the end because we have to win all of them. Uh, of course, it's a pleasure for me to play alongside with uh, Kyogo, and uh, it, it's really good. It's really nice to have him back with us. What do you think it is about the last few months, the last couple of months, that have brought out the best in you at Celtic? Uh, what I think. First of all, the plan of the team was uh, was the best for me. It was uh, I think we, we stood together with uh, with the style I play. Uh, it helped me a lot. We we play uh, really offensive football and really attractive football, and uh, it helps me a lot to have many chances in the game. And uh, until this time, from from this uh, from this part, it's uh, my job to score the goals. Uh, so this is something that really helped me when you have uh, all these kind of chances. For strikers, uh, something really nice and really helpful. Gordon? Georgios, you play St Johnston at home this weekend. It was St Johnston at home when you scored your first goal for Celtic. Looking back on that and today sitting as player of the month, how far do you think you've come since that day? Yeah, this time it was one of my first games. I think it was my first game in uh, first 11. Uh, I scored a goal against St Johnston. And I, I hope that uh, from uh, that part uh, it would be easier for me. But uh, at this time I uh, started uh, my injury. Uh, so I had to stay for a couple of months, three or three months uh, out of the, uh, out of the trainings. I had to work a lot uh, on my own. And uh, I can say that uh, from the second part of the, since the start of the second part of the season, uh, I'm really uh, fit, strong, uh, being myself, and uh, it's something that I was looking forward to, uh, to happen to, uh, on, on October. In terms of the title race, Rangers obviously play in Europe tonight, which means they play in the league on Sunday. You guys 
get the rest and play on Saturday. Do you, do you think that makes any difference? Does that have any bearing on the title race between now and the end of the season? No, I don't. I don't think it uh, plays any any part of uh, of the race because even if they didn't have any game, we have to win our games. Uh, in the end, if we win our games, we don't have to look about other teams. So that's our uh, mentality right now. Thank you. Jill? Hi, Georgia. It's been uh, so close to the end of the season, but with six games still left to play. How do you keep the momentum going game by game? Uh, as we did so far, it's, uh, until now, we have to focus on every single game. We won uh, the old firm. But uh, since Monday, we focused on the next game, which is against St. Johnson. This is something that we will do every single week. Uh, when you play uh, Saturday, you celebrate on Sunday, but on Monday, you have to focus on the next game. This is something that uh, we worked a lot on uh, during the season and uh, something that we will do until the end. And your goals this season, all 12 have been one-touch finishes. Is this something that you specifically work on? Yeah, I work a lot on my first touch, uh, finish, and uh, also I can score with <laughs> more touches, but uh, I'm a striker. Whenever I have the chance to score with one touch, I will do it. And I try to improve even uh, even more on my first touch. Uh, and uh, last season I didn't score only with uh, one touch, but uh, <laughs> this season uh, it happened to score only uh, with my first touch. Maybe until the end, I will score some goals, uh, but actually I don't care how many touches I will need to. Uh, the point is to score. And finally, can I have Colin, please? Hey, Georges, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Um, just a, a, a touch on the fans from Sunday, obviously 700 there at Ibrox, and it's a sellout on Saturday. How much of an impact does that have on you as a player, um, having that fan, the, the fans behind you? And um, how much did that drive you to get the, the three points on, on uh, at the weekend? They are always making great impact on the games, on our games, they help us a lot. And uh, we're really proud that uh, we have them uh, um, next to us. They're always uh, really helpful and uh, we play for them also, every single uh, game. The 700 that they were there, uh, as I said, they had a great impact on our game. It helped us a lot and we d they deserve to um, dedicate the winning on them. On Sunday, it noticed that you played a slightly different role to what you're used to be playing. You see yourself as a penalty box striker, but on Sunday you dropped a bit deeper, linked up the play, played Leila Bada and for um, the shot that you just put wide of the post. Is that something you, you worked on ahead of that game specifically, or is it something that you're adding to your game? Uh, normally, as I, as I said many times, it's uh, my job is to score. Uh, one of my main jobs, but... Uh, Knowing that uh, if we win this game on Sunday, uh, if we would won this game on Sunday, it would be a great step for us to win uh, win the league. So um, I didn't care if I scored, if I could score on Sunday. On Sunday but uh, the most important for for me was to also to defend and to prevent uh, of uh, to concede any any kind of goal. So for me, the most important is to win, not to score. Uh, that's why I was running even more and was uh, falling more down to the to our defense uh, that's all